What's up? My name is Technova here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to solve a simple but annoying error that you could be getting whenever you try and open up WSL, Ubuntu on Windows Subsystem for Linux or anything like that. If you're receiving an error that says, effectively, the system cannot find the file specified whenever you run WSL, Ubuntu or any other Linux distribution on Windows, the solution to this is incredibly simple, especially if you have used Linux on Windows in the past or you're absolutely sure everything is still installed as it should be. For me personally, I think I may have deleted the Ubuntu files, redownloaded it, and then started receiving this error. So the absolute simplest solution is to hit start, type in PowerShell, then right click PowerShell and choose run as administrator. Then inside of this new window here, I'll simply be typing WSL space hyphen hyphen shut down, hit enter, then WSL config space forward slash unregister, Ubuntu or whatever Linux distribution you're trying to work in. Then after this, WSL hyphen hyphen install hyphen hyphen distribution and Ubuntu or whatever the name is here as well. Enter, assuming you've spelled it right, the time's a charm, you'll see Ubuntu is now installing and a new window opens up, this time in Ubuntu, working exactly as we'd hope. And in a few seconds, it'll ask me to create a Unix username. The solution is incredibly simple, and at this point, things should be working pretty much as per normal. However, if they're not, it's a good idea to make sure that WSL is properly installed, Ubuntu, or whatever other distribution as well. You can try uninstalling and reinstalling either the WSL feature in Windows, or simply uninstalling and reinstalling the operating system on top of it that you're trying to work in under Windows here. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick, quick guide. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.